Hello guys and welcome back. In this session we talk about slicers and timelines. Uh, your first obvious question might be, okay Rad, what are slicers and timelines? I'm gonna give you very simple and brief answers. They are filters. Uh, fancier, nicer filters, but nevertheless they are filters. Uh, in the following minutes we're gonna see how can these filters help us uh, present data in a more accessible way and even in a more maybe useful way. Let's start with uh, slicers. Uh, we're going to work on a, on a data set that you probably already know with the online store sales data. I, also, I already created here two pivot tables and in the first pivot table I can see that I already have some filters. I can filter data according to the brand of the phone that I've sold. Okay, uh, what we're going to do next is to insert a slicer and we're going to see how uh, a slicer can help us filter the same data. We can find the slicer under the insert tab under the filters section. I'm going to click inside here and let's ins insert a filter according to brand. You see that in uh, before using a slicer I had to uh, have two clicks in order to filter data. Using a slicer I can filter data with one click. It can be easier but also maybe more visual for me to, to filter out data. So this is a slicer. Let's see how we can uh, customize it. I can have here a caption that maybe I want to change, let's say manufacturer maybe. I have a report connection. In my example, this slicer is only connected to one pivot table. But if I want, I can also connect it to the second pivot table. Just click report connections and check pivot tam uh, table 2. And from now on, you see that when I click uh, inside this slicer, the data in both pivot tables change. I have here different slicer styles. Maybe I want something a little bit more blue. If I want, I can arrange uh, these options in several columns. I can work with the height, maybe the width, and so on. So this is basically how you insert and customize uh, a slicer. This can prove particularly useful, especially when building maybe dashboards or something like that. Okay, let's try adding maybe a second slicer and see what happens. Go into the insert tab, slicer, and let's slice the data by paid. The paid column tells me if the product has been paid or not. Match the visual, visual styles, let's connect it to the second, second pivot table. Now I can see for example Apple that has not been paid, Nokia that has been paid, Blackberry. Very interesting that we don't have any <coughs> data in the table with Blackberry that has not been paid. So every Blackberry phone has been paid in our data set. We can add 2, 3, 11, 12, 30, uh, no matter how many slicers and uh, this versatility can help us uh, filter data very fast and um, get the results that we want to, to have. Okay, let's talk about timelines. Uh, timelines are, are interesting because filtering by date uh, in a pivot table is a pain. If I want to have 2011, I have to be very careful to select all the records uh, needed and so on. So it's not very user friendly to filter uh, by date in a pivot table. But using timelines, things are much easier. I go to, uh, to insert it, go to insert tab, insert timeline, and check the date here. I can see that now I have a visual representation 
of uh, the date range starting for 2011 January until 2013 December. If I want only 2011, I just go and select the suitable months until December. And now my data refreshes according to this. I can see years, quarters, months, days. If I want only uh, years, look at how it is, it is for me to switch bet between years. So this is why timelines are interesting. Uh, like slicers, I can connect them to multiple pivot table reports. So when I change this, my whole data refreshes. I also have visual styles here. Maybe I want to choose this. Uh, I can work with the height and width. I can toggle if I want to see the header or not. If I want to see the selection label or not the scroll bar or not, and the time level or not. Uh, this is what timelines can do. And as I said, they can be very useful, especially when you want to make very user-friendly uh, reports and uh, present them in a very professional way. Okay, guys, this is about, uh, this was it about um, slicers and timelines in, uh, in pivot tables. Uh, before closing, I want to show you that you can also insert slicers in tables, not pivot tables. So, let's say um, I want a slicer by brand. I'm going to make it a little bit wide because I want, to, I want it to fit in the, in the first row. And I don't want a header. This can also be useful in, uh, in some cases. Okay, that was it. We talked about slicers. Um, they are used ma mainly in pivot tables and also timelines that can be used only in pivot tables. You see how easy it, it is for us to create professional lo looking reports using, uh, using these tools. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next session.